All right, the word gravitic propulsion system is running around the internet, and we're going to talk about it. My name is David. I'm a former U.S. Army active duty UAS maintenance NCO. I worked on drones, and we're going to tie everything together. Here recently had a video go viral, over 4 million views, talking about the drones in New Jersey. And I think things are connecting. Guys, this is like a missing puzzle piece that we've been looking for. So the Green Beret who uh, was at fault or was responsible for the Tesla truck that exploded at the Trump Tower in Las Vegas was talking about in his manifesto about gravitic propulsion systems. And if you think about the word gravitic, gravity, and if you think about how gravity works, you also have to think about uh, magnetic fields, uh, magnetism, and also plasma. And all this is really connected because he talked about China as well. And in the video that I put out two weeks ago, I talked about how the US and China are in a fierce race. Don't take my word for it. This is the Wall Street uh, review or documentary that they just put out here recently. When you watch this, you're going to be blown away. It's just a few minutes. In just a few years, China has built this world-class fusion research campus from scratch, while the U.S. still lacks anything like it. It's a sign of China's growing investment in nuclear fusion, what many scientists consider the holy grail of clean energy. If American companies don't lead on this, then the jobs, the wealth won't develop here, they'll develop in China. We'll break down the race to achieve and commercialize nuclear fusion, and what's at stake if China wins. In the last five years or so, there's the beginning realization that this may not just be interesting science, but there may be a possibility that this could become an important practical technology. He says he hasn't been back to Chinese labs since before 2020, partly because the U.S. government has discouraged it. So think about that, guys. He's not allowed to go back to China because there is a race, a full-on race to get fusion power. This isn't just a new way for energy. This would change the power stability in the whole world. This is like the Manhattan Project. This is whoever, whoever wins this race is going to dominate the world, literally. One of the leading candidates for a viable and practical fusion reactor is called a tokamak, a machine that confines plasma using strong magnetic fields. The U.S. has two main government-funded tokamaks. China has three. Its fourth is expected to be completed in 2027. China has 10 times as many PhDs in fusion science and engineering as the U.S., and the Chinese government has launched new fusion education programs in China. The Chinese government is also spending double what the U.S. is spending on fusion. We should expect it to be a net loss to American global influence around the world. That China will leverage this technology as something that they can support their belt and road allies with. Their customers will need to buy from them and do business with them. So the main point of this video is to let you know that there are some things that we should be connecting. And I saw this Reddit post and I want to really share it with you guys because this is how gravitic propulsion, fusion energy, plasmoids and plasma are all connected. So this is what he said. Like all matter, plasma can be controlled by gravity from a distance. This is literally what stars do. Their own gravity holds them together. Gravity is certainly much weaker than electromagnetic force in this regard. This is why fusion reactors use giant magnets to try and hold plasma in place. So guys, I really think that there is some stuff that is going on with uh, fusion plasma and, and some secret uh, uh, projects and departments and things that like this individual Matthew is talking about that we don't know, but we have more proof that something is going on with these drones, something is going on with these fusion centers, with plasma, with gravity, something's going on and uh, we need to find out.